Welcome back to SDL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and my guests are Melissa Whitwam and Evan Wagman from the Foundry Art Center. Thank you again for, for being here. So we've kind of been covering everything that's taking place in December, a lot of exciting holiday-themed events, and we should add in there you're going to be screening a film as well, a holiday-themed film. <laughs> yes, um, it's my favorite film, but we're, we're going to be screening Elf on December 17th. Mm -hmm. So that'll be following one of our, our days of Sunday with Santa. And we'll just show a free film. We, have, we always have art activities mm -hmm. to go along with it. So come early, make a, make a craft, make an art project to take home with you, and then enjoy the film. So it looks like we've got Nutcracker Tea, Sundays with Santa, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree, and Elf. And we should talk about for spacing, because it's, you, there's a limit to some of these. Is that correct? Yes, yes. So all of them you can register. Um, the film series you don't have to register, but the other ones you do. Register online at our website. It's foundryartcenter.org. Okay. So you can find that. You can purchase tickets. Mm -hmm. You can do all the reservations there. And if you have any questions, of course, you just call us up and ask. Okay, that's great. So, I mean, we obviously have been talking about all the holiday themed stuff, but you're open year round and have a lot going on. Evan, tell me a bit about the adult workshops that you have. Sure. We'll have, um, starting in November, uh, one workshop every month. Um, all the way through July. So there's a lot of phenomenal local artists that are going to be teaching these three-hour workshops. Uh, the first hour will be um, an instructional hour, and the second hour is completely hands-on. So we're keeping the class size somewhat limited mm -hmm. so that you really get the full um, experience of being able to get that one-on-one -on -one with the instructor and learn all the techniques that you possibly can. And so what type of media is it across? Is it ceramics and painting? Is it just across? It's, it's a little bit of everything. Okay. Um, we're going to have a, we're starting out with a Chinese watercolor. Oh, wow. Uh, with bamboo brushes and, and the whole nine. And there's going to be some drawing, watercolors, oil painting. We'll have a sculpture one, um, a fiber one down the road as well. So we're trying to touch upon everything for everyone. And what does your level of experience have to be? I mean, do you, <laughs> do you have to be an expert little, at Chinese watercolor painting? Little to none or as much as you want to just, you know, keep practicing the medium that you're interested in. Guys, so everyone is welcome, is welcome. teens great... and adults, to be, yeah. uh, to be honest. Oh, so. it's a great way to kind of, if you have an interest in a certain type of art, to just kind of, you know, Absolutely. just to have that first taste of it, yeah. or if you are further, you know, are an expert in it, as we said. Yeah. I also want to talk about your exhibition because you, as you <coughs> mentioned earlier, you have artists in residence, but you also always have an exhibition running. And so, what's exactly. the one that's currently open? Oh, uh, the current the current exhibition is Quilt National Seventeen. So it's a traveling exhibition. It comes from the Dairy Barn Art Center in Athens, Ohio. Mm. They produce and circulate it. Um, and it's it's just a beautiful exhibition. It's art quilts, so it's a little something different and kind of like Evan was saying for for your class levels, mm -hmm. you can be anywhere from beginner to expert. Mm -hmm. uh, the way I feel about an art quilt show is the same way. You'll mm -hmm. have that tie to quilts and that that history there, mm -hmm. but these quilts take it to a whole new level. They're mm -hmm. they're meant to be to be seen wall hung. Wow. They. Um, they're just phenomenal. I get really fangirl about it. There's yeah. 81 quilts from all wow. over the world in this exhibition. Yeah. So it is definitely a show you need to come and see. It's up through December 1st. Oh, that's so. fantastic. Yeah, quilting is, um, I mean, it's something I feel even generationally growing up. I felt there was a lot more sort of discuss quilt. I mean, it just felt so much more uh, integrated with the culture. But I feel like there's been this sort of resurgence of oh. sort of uh, in the mm -hmm. arts world of, of quilting. I mean, is that, that's my no, armchair assessment, but uh, you <laughs> would know better. Absolutely, no, I'll take that because it's, and, and that's why this is the 20th year that they have done Quilt National. It's a biennial show. So this is the 20th time that Quilt National has shown. Wow. And it's been that progression of taking it from something that was viewed as, as very crafty right. um, to something that is a, a legitimate art form. So um, I think it's, I think it's just going to come more to the fore, and I think people are much, much better at appreciating mm -hmm. art for art's sake and not right. saying, oh, that's too much of one thing and not enough of right. another. It's all art. It's, it's all the experience that we mm -hmm. want to share with people. So whatever level that takes you to, then that's, that's what we want great. you to experience. Well, before we wrap things up, I want to kind of give a shout out to your artists and residents. Yeah. How many, we just have a little bit, uh, less than a minute, but I want to, how many artists and res residents do you actually have? Right now we have 13 studio artists upstairs. So they work out of their studios. They sell work out of their studios. Many of them teach classes out of their studio spaces. They're there all the time. Oh, so that's... they love for the, for the public to come in and engage. You get to see a working artist and ask them their question, your questions. That's so. great. Well, for information about the hours at Foundry Art Center, how you can go and meet these artists, see the work that they're doing, 
see the exhibition and of course what we focused on today, the events coming up in December, head to foundryartcenter.org or you can call the number on your screen, 636-255-0270. And thank you again for being here. Thank you. All right, well, there's more SEO Live right after this. Please stay with us.